बॉडी वेल बीइंग वेरी गुड टर्म वेल बीइंग एनीथिंग मोर the well being of the physical and mental condition of body okay next if anyone uh, add something sudeshna sir i just joined so can you please okay. repeat the question what are the factors of health uh, yes sir Uh, what are the factors of of a uh, good health uh, sir healthy diet yes and yes. good yes. mental uh, good mental and physical condition uh. and Or add on add on more yes. things absence of disease yes yes sir absence of disease absence of infirmity have any idea about infirmity infirmity just literal meaning is weakness absence of weakness that is also a condition of weak health okay so yes so many factors you have already told first one wellness physical mental state absence of disease absence of infirmity good nutrition all these factors are responsible for a good health now i'll give you a definition of health given by world health organization can you tell me the definition of health according to who anyone no idea okay according to who health is a state of physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity one second i repeat health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity you have already told all these terms that i mentioned now physical mental state i include from who social next already told by student well being and i add on absence of disease and infirmity so if you link all these points this will go to a proper definition given by who health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity there are so many definitions are there but according to my understanding this is the best of all there are so many that physical and mental well being freedom from disease pain or defect normalcy and physical and mental fitness normal scene physical and mental functioning all this a uh, condition of optimal well being so there are so many ideas about health but the best concept that who put in front of us is the health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity i have already mentioned the infirmity means weakness and this infirmity is 
coexistence coexisted with health because we are concentrating on the development of health of of, well, uh, of a human being so if a person has good health at the same time on the latter age uh, when he is or she is attaining the more age or in the latter age he will face some consequence about weakness due to his bad health which is occurred due to presence of so many diseases so health and infirmity uh, or uh, so um, health and infirmity is coexisted in human being so then what is well being uh, someone uh, raise this point what is well being the well being is the concept of being comfortable from the perspective of an individual comfortable healthy and happy comfortable healthy and happy and in case of a person who is suffering from illness for long time and he is recovering back to his previous condition this improvement also termed with the person's well being who is suffering from diseases for a long time so concept is same but its application is different the concept of well being means the comfortable healthy and happy but in case of diseased person those who, who is suffering from uh, illness for a longer period of time now he is recovering in that case this is the improvement of his health when he is recovering from that particular disease or diseases next i want to mention one term which is health well being and next term is wellness what is wellness have any idea about wellness anyone anyone can put your suggestion about what you are thinking about the term wellness can you tell me sir the act of staying healthy act of staying healthy act of practicing healthy habits on daily basis or regularly to attain better physical and mental health outcomes so what is wellness wellness then wellness is the act of following or practicing healthy habits in regular basis to attain better physical and mental health outcomes there is a proverb that healthy minds lives in a healthy body so first healthy body if healthy body is there and then should be there should be a proper development of mental aspects also that's why we are telling that healthy mind lives in a healthy body so now what are the factors or the what are the 
factors related with wellness the factors that related with wellness of a particular individual are social interaction next someone mentioned in the definition of health that is nutrition proper food regular participation in regular exercise program so in your 24 hours in 24 hours you take some time and you are participating in such physical activity that is called regular participation in any sort of exercise program next proper sleep and next one is all the time mindfulness mindfulness so why i am telling so social interaction say you are a student studying in institute you come to the college attended all the classes and then return back to your home and then start your study once again interacting your father and mother or brother or sister and go then go to your bed and next morning same routine he or she is following so what are the shortcomings what are this i want to mention what are the shortcomings he or she can interact interact with his friends in the campus college campus or she can interact with his peer groups in his locality or in her locality so this shortcomings offends affected your health so that's why i am telling that you are following the well planned and structured healthy habits but you do not follow the components of wellness that is the social interaction mixing with your friends mixing with your peer groups interact so many issues are coming you put your views your friends also put your put their views that that interaction is very much needed for development of your mental health then nutrition then comes nutrition what sort of nutrition we are taking in our day to day life that comprises of what are the uh, factors of uh, good nutrition can anyone tell me what are the factors of good nutrition sir balanced diet balanced diet comprises of proteins carbohydrates the uh, vitamins fat minerals vitamins rafes and ample amount of water okay so this nutrition is oftenly termed as balanced diet comprises of carbohydrate fat protein minerals vitamins rafes and sufficient amount of water for day to day living so it is not also possible for all of us for all the citizens of of our country to provide all such factors regularly it is the other condition but 
if you discuss about the term wellness then or health or fitness you should consider all these factors of carbohydrate fat protein and all this i have already mentioned so what is the function of carbohydrate what is the function of protein what is the function of fat and all these can you tell me anyone what is the function of carbohydrate so it provides energy what type of energy this is an immediate source of energy this term immediate associated with carbohydrate so carbohydrate so like us to build macromolecules the precondition is same for all of us okay but the factor that is the carbohydrate what we are taking in the form of various foods so that's why i am telling that carbohydrate is the immediate source of energy next fat you think that you will walk for 5 to 10 kilometer kilometers without any break okay when you are starting your walking on the road there is a clean road no vehicles are there when you are starting in initial phase your body requires oxygen why need oxygen because from the resting state when you are starting walking then your body demands more oxygen to provide more energy which is above the level of your resting condition and the food particles you have already taken stored in the form of atp and in presence of oxygen this atp break down into energy and the person he or she uses this energy to perform his physical work next this is this type of supply of energy or the this system is called the aerobic energy cycle what is an aerobic energy cycle energy is supplied to the working muscle in presence of oxygen there is also another concept that is an anaerobic energy supply method or anaerobic energy cycle what is anaerobic energy cycle have any idea i have already mentioned the concept about aerobic so what is anaerobic system of energy cycle if any idea about an anaerobic energy cycle you can put your views also tell me what is anaerobic system of energy cycle no idea sir glucose is broken down without oxygen okay carbohydrate transform into glucose and in presence of oxygen it has been break down into energy it is a aerobic cycle what is anaerobic energy cycle i want to know there are so many activities there are so many activities in our day to day life basically but in most importantly for the athletes 
most importantly for the athletes say Usain Bolt have any idea about Usain Bolt who is Usain Bolt so he is a sprinter uh, from Jamaica okay all time record he performed his best performance till date is 9.56 in 100 meter run his best performance olympics world championship total his best performance in world cha championship is 9.56 second in 100 meter sprint so how it is possible for him is it possible for me is it possible for you? There are so many reasons. The how Usain Bolt is able to fix that target. That someone is coming behind him. So many athletes are there. Their target is to reach 9.56 or to exceed that time means below 9.56. Now, I explain the uh, fact about uh, on the basis of anaerobic energy cycle. If you go on through the research work based on uh, the sprinting events, the anaerobic capacity of the athletes, so many things are there. Research shows that in, say, Usain Bolt is running in 10 seconds. Leave 9.56, 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, he completes 100 meter distance with his best effort and high quality speed component and without help of any oxygen taken from the environment. Without taking any help of oxygen taking from the environment. How it is possible? That is the capacity of which involved or similar like athletes. Their anaerobic capacity is in the highest level that his systems, all the systems, musculatory system, circulatory system, um, uh, excretory system, all the system, muscular system, skeletal system, uh, all these systems are working in such a way that it is possible for him or such like athletes to complete 100 meter run without taking any amount of oxygen from the air that is in absence of oxygen with the help of his anaerobic capacity. Anaerobic capacity. His system is so much trained that he can perform 100 meter run without taking any oxygen from the this has shows that in 10 seconds, in short period of 10 seconds, for completing 100 meter run, your body requires 46 liters at least. Maybe in, in bigger unit also, at least 46 liters of oxygen to complete that course of running. So it, it is so is it possible for him to supply 46 of 6 liters of oxygen in such a short duration? Not. It is not possible. But his anaerobic system is so much trained or developed that he complete that course without supplying of oxygen. So, 
have you understand the concept of anaerobic system how it performs so there is a distinct difference between aerobic system and anaerobic system aerobic system for low intensity physical work continues for a longer period of time but in anaerobic system high intensity short duration physical activity high intensity short duration physical activity is performed with the help of the athlete's anaerobic capacity and in the other way the aerobic capacity helps you to complete low intensity physical work for longer duration of time so there is understood a... understand yes sir i understood what you explained okay there is also another point the accumulation of the metabolic by product this is termed as blood lactate or lactate deposited in the working muscles and after few minutes it goes to the blood stream so that's why i am telling that in 10 seconds is complete the course so what is the effect this effect is that in absence of oxygen for performing 100 meter run accumulates lot of metabolic by products which is termed as lactate in the working muscles and after few minutes of complete after few seconds you open found that competing 100 meter runs all the athletes are taking more oxygen from the air to meet yes the, sir that meet the demand of the body so the consequence also there yes sir the amount of lactate produced in the working muscles but in case of aerobic system there is also accumulation of lactates but the athlete's cap capacity and the system of aerobic uh, energy system is framed in such a way that this lactate may be used as a source of energy for longer duration of time this is the basic difference of aerobic system and anaerobic system so uh, uh, mention or elaborately for aerobic and uh, aerobic and aerobic system so all this energy system is so structured that when your body requires anything that should be supplied in a proper way next the uh, factors of wellness have already mentioned regular participation in exercise for program in the morning you can take half an hour or one hour in the afternoon you can take half an hour or one hour and involve yourself in any sort of physical activity today in the time of pandemic it is not possible for you to go to go to the field just spot running you skipping that i will complete 200 skipping 200 times with single leg or with double leg you can choose yourself so that's why 
we someone is advised that you choose your lifestyle if it is active or it is inactive so that is up to you what you will choose next is proper sleep proper sleep is very much essential for what purpose for repairing of the wear and tear of the muscles for last 18 hours or 20 hours 18 hours or 20 hours lot of muscles group involved in your daily work so this wear and tear of the muscle groups involved in past should be recovered should be repaired through which component of food wear and tear of the muscle protein so protein works as the building blocks as well as repairing of the wear and tear of the muscle involved in past so these are the components of wellness well being health or healthy person now i will give you a concept of so what is the medium of developing health in my first class uh, i have already mentioned that physical training yes sir. this physical training is the medium to develop the phys- the physical components of your body similarly the mental faculties as well as the social aspect and this training this training is structured in such a way that all the components of fitness the term coat and coat the term fitness is involved in the training program so what is fitness if any if you have any idea about fitness sir training your body to keep it active at all times all the times add on if anyone one sir ability of body to go on exercising for a But period in, of time in the day to day work it is not included yes sir say i am starting from my house walking for 2 km kilometer and then going to my office without helping any vehicles this is not fitness sir uh, fitness is when you are uh, all body, body parts work properly at their 100% yes. efficiency but there is a fit. but there is a precondition ability to complete any sort of physical work in day to day life without undue fatigue that is fitness after few minutes i am tiring 
I am tired. That is not considered a twisted. But the person who is complete two kilometer every day without tiring, without undue fatigue, reach to his office should be considered as fit person. That is related with fitness. So fitness is the ability to complete daily works or any sort of physical activity without undue fatigue. There are so many components associated with fitness. In terms of health, physical, mental, social aspect, In terms of health components, strength, speed, endurance, agility, ability, um, uh, agility, balance, coordination, power, speed, all these components are associated with fitness. So can anyone differentiate between speed and power sir in terms of fitness in terms of fitness what is the difference between speed and power sir like in the gym it, or... speed power and strength say um, strength speed and power what is the difference between Thing, speed and power in terms of fitness. So speed uh, may refer to our agility, like for example, when you are lifting dumbbells, how many repetitions we can do and how fast we can do those repetitions, like how much energy we can expend. If it if we could do it faster, then that is our speed. And uh, strength refers to our overall uh, capacity to do work at any given point in time. And power, and power refers to our expenditure of our strength at exact one exact point in time, like heavy weight lifting. Like we need to lift a heavy weight, so we use all our energy to lift the weight in just a few minutes, and uh, again okay. let go of it. Okay, okay. Now I'll cl clarify all these items. What is strength? What is strength? Strength is the ability of the muscle of the muscle or a particular muscle group to overcome certain resistance stain is the ability of the muscle or group of muscles to overcome overcome certain resistance that is called strength then what is speed speed is the ability of an individual to run or to cover maximum distance with shortest possible time speed is the ability of the individual to cover or to run maximum distance with shortest possible time. Then what is power? If we give an equation that is power equals to strength multiply speed. Am I wrong or right? Yes, sir, it makes sense in a way. Like the more strong you are and the faster you can run, that shows that you can. Yeah. That you have power. So, power is the product of strength and speed. The ability to exert maximum force. Ability to exert maximum force 
force in shortest possible time yes sir that is called power so there is a distinction between strength speed and power these are the these three components are very much related with each athlete that should be not required by the normal people it is a good concept but for every athletic person or every athletes it is very much or these components is very much important to excel in a better way so yes sir. there are so many factors i have already mentioned in my next class i also give you some view about other factors of fitness so if you have any query about the about today's discussion you can ask so we just gave a equation right now like for power is equal to power strength. is equal to strength multiplied speed yes sir now that you mention it even in physics uh, the uh, formula for power is equal to force into velocity so are they related force into velocity how yes, much how much force you are exerting or you are putting to overcome certain resistance in shortest possible time velocity deals with the time in terms yes. of speed speed that's why i am telling that power is the product of strength strength of the muscle as well as how fast he is contracting he or she is contracting his muscle to overcome such resistance that is his power can you tell me any example of uh, the power in sports field sir uh... Hundred meter running and hundred uh, meter running, one uh, Next. weightlifting, weightlifting. In within few seconds, you have to put all the efforts of your muscles to exert maximum force to overcome, say, hundred pounds of weight. Yes, sir. This is his. or her quality of power and all related with her muscles muscle power that is strength and how fast how fast is involving in his muscle or muscle groups to exert maximum force to overcome such resistance okay so any confusion no sir uh, some of us are wondering if there is a gym in the in institute huh yeah? there like, is a gym yeah. in the but is it not possible for you to come to the campus presently when you are coming when you are come to the campus then you could use this um, facilities from okay, 5:30 from 5:30 to 8 for boys and 4 to 5:30 for girls no problem okay. but okay, now presently the renovation work of the gymnasium is going on and i think it will take uh, will take one more months to complete all this when you come to the second semester when physical mode may be available for you if uh, condition prevails huh. then you come to the campus and take all the facilities of the good standard volleyball ground standard volleyball uh, basketball ground two big grounds like oval and lords uh, and a well equipped gymnasium you can take the 
benefits of all those facilities okay okay sir because okay. i go to a gym every day so i was wondering if you can continue it when i come to the campus okay no problem i am always available in the gymnasium okay from 10 to 8 okay okay sir thank you sir thank you if you have no query then please send your attendance there is a problem going on that no such recording is please send okay i want to see the names yamashish raj vishek ratnodi rahul yohan pius jagadish chori hafiz nuruli nagi naruli nitin krishna how fast navneet devatis suman akes okay after giving your um, attendance you can leave and wait for the next class okay okay sir thank you 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 sir जब थैंक यू बोल रहे तब जोर से बोल रहा है जब मैं पूछ रहा हूं तो क्वेश्चन तब है ना थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच ओके तो नेहा कुमारी समझ में आया कुछ यस सर अनिर्बान सेम अभिषेक कुमार राय यस सर यू अंडरस्टैंड यस सर क्या समझा बोलो दो तीन पॉइंट बोलो वट इज हेल्थ चला ही आ गया ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल आई एम लिविंग थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू